So today we're going to be testing a leaf for starch, but firstly we're going to look at how starch is produced in a plant and why they make it, and then we're going to look at how we test for it. So during photosynthesis, plants react to carbon dioxide that they get from the air. They absorb this by diffusion to the stomata into the leaf, and they react the carbon dioxide with water that they get through osmosis uh, from the soil through their roots. And they use this to produce glucose, which is a sugar, and oxygen. Now they use glucose to release energy during respiration to carry out all the activities they need to survive. And they store the glucose as starch. Now glucose is extremely soluble. So in order to store it, they convert it into starch, which is much less soluble. Uh, you could say it's insoluble. And they also use glucose for protein synthesis to make proteins. Now there are more than just these. These are just a few examples of the uses of glucose. So to test for starch, what do we add? We add iodine. Okay, and iodine starts as an orange-brown color. Orange-brown. Now, if the test for starch is positive, if starch is present, then the orange-brown iodine will turn blue-black. But if it's negative, if there's no starch, then the iodine that's orange-brown won't change. So it will stay orange-brown. This is the equipment you're going to need to carry out the test for starch. You're going to need some ethanol. Very important, ethanol is extremely flammable, so you want to keep it away from any uh, flames from the Bunsen burner. You're going to need some forceps, a white tile, a leaf, a Bunsen burner, a beaker, tripod stand, gauze mat, heat proof mat. You're going to need some iodine, this is what we use to carry out the test, and a boiling tube. Now, covering the leaf, we have a waxy cuticle, which makes the leaf waterproof and also reduces water loss. So in order to soften this waxy cuticle to make sure the iodine can be absorbed, we're going to uh, boil the leaf in some water for about 10 minutes. Now, this is also to stop all of the chemical reactions that are occurring in the leaf by denaturing the enzymes. So I'm go I've got some water in a beaker here, and I'm going to use the blue flame to heat the water until it boils. Now that the water is boiling, we're going to put the leaf in there and we're going to leave it to boil for about 10 minutes. Now that 10 minutes are up, we're going to turn the Bunsen burner off. And as you can see, compared to before, the leaf is very soft. Okay, so we've successfully softened that waxy cuticle. Now what we're going to do is we need some ethanol, which is why it's very important that we turn the Bunsen burner off before this point, because ethanol is very flammable. We're going to pour some ethanol into a boiling tube. Now, as you can see, the water hasn't really changed color. The water still looks like it did in the beginning, and the leaf is still green. Now, because we're looking for a color change in the iodine, that green will affect the color change we see. So we need to get rid of that green chlorophyll. So we're going to put the softened leaf into some ethanol. Now, ethanol is a very good solvent, which means the chlorophyll will dissolve into the ethanol out of the leaf. So we can see that color change better. But we want this to happen uh, at a faster rate of reaction, so we're going to put this into the hot water. Now the Bunsen burner isn't on, we're just putting the ethanol into the hot water. And we're gonna leave that there for about 15 minutes. As you can see, the ethanol has turned green because the chlorophyll 
has dissolved into the ethanol out of the leaf. So I'm going to take this leaf out using the forceps and spread it on a white tile. Okay, so now we're going to take some iodine and add a few drops to the leaf. And if there is starch present, we should see the iodine turn blue-black. going to turn this over. So as you can see in some parts of the leaf it stayed orange brown indicating that there's no uh, starch present but in other parts of the leaf some of the iodine has turned blue black like over here you can see some blue black there. Add a few more drops of iodine to this area. So you can see this area here has turned slightly blue-black, which would indicate the presence of starch.